Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back with another mod uh, to review and uh, this one is actually a modded version of the Commerce SMG and it is actually called the Hurricane Pass um, which was made by Resand over on the community github uh, and we've done quite a lot of Resand's weapons right now and uh, every one of them is quite unique and different. This one is pretty good, it's a fast fire weight. Uh, fire uh, element meant to be fire element anyway I think you can get him in any element it actually unlocks the commerce to any element uh, but uh, the one that he has recommended and posted a, a link to on his page is this one right here which is made uh, for the fire element version and it works pretty well really so we're going to be testing it out in southern shelf bay today just uh, opening with a couple of kills on the uh, the mongs uh, the bully rots whatever you want to call them and uh, yeah, they're uh, pretty, pretty, uh, when this thing gets going, it's absolutely, well, it's just a complete firestorm there, but you can see it's got a unique bullet pattern as well. So we're going to be giving this a good review today anyway, but as always, we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get it. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description, which will take you straight there, or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub and navigate there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 Mods and then scrolling down to Resand section, which is in alphabetical order under R just here. Click on that, and that'll bring up all the weapons he's made so far. We're going to be looking for the Hurricane Pass, which is uh, located just here. Click on that, that'll bring up the weapons information page with all the info you need to know, as well as the code as well to save. Click on the raw tab, right click, save as, and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. And then uh, you're going to come in game and execute it. So first, a uh, couple of things you need to know. Uh, you need to run the patch first. Uh, run the community patch uh, first and then execute the Hurricane Pass. Do it in the main menu uh, or your uh, commerce will get deleted by uh, sanity check so then you've got to load your character afterwards and and then you can go in if you don't do that it'll just straight out delete your commerce so run the patch run the hurricane pass uh, in the console commands and then select your character come in and that should change your commerce into a hurricane pass which is right here so uh, this is a weapon as you can see like I said earlier it's got a very unique uh, firing pattern where it's all vertical maybe is it eight bullets something like that all vertical I've run out of uh, ammo you do get ammo regen on this as well which you could see in the bottom right it was actually going up but we'll get a good amount of bullets there you go you can see just there that is the firing pattern of this thing it's kind of the opposite of uh, say the, the spread weapons like the sandhawk and things like that because this is actually vertical so uh, any tall enemies this will benefit pretty well tall and slim enemies uh, so yeah let's get a little bit of an overview of this thing right here the skin nice glowing white and purple as you can see real nice skin on this thing uh, kind of like a snow theme um, and the red text on it says good luck getting out of this one so uh, yeah that's what the weapon looks like let's go do some kills with this thing and I'll run through the list of changes so we'll carry on the run through some shelf bay and kill some human enemies. Uh, so this is the Hurricane Pass. Uh, elementally unlocks the Commerce. If you forget to execute this mod before loading a save, the gun will be deleted. This will fire a vertical pattern of eight unlisted projectiles. On impact, it will spawn sword explosion swords, Sheremy healing projectiles and landmines as well. These all deal no self damage. So that's all pretty good, the sword explosion swords obviously are very powerful so they'll do quite a lot of the damage but the uh, the healing projectiles from the Sheremy is pretty good as well. I'm running a uh, Flame of the Fire Rock kind of Krieg here who has health regen on damage and stuff like that so uh, that up to helps add keep uh, the survivability aspect of this pretty good which is what you need in overpower rate quite well. Uh, this is strong but not overpowered without the B. If you apply the B, it is stupidly overpowered. So uh, just do what you want on that one. Uh, it's at least above the level of the Sandhawk uh, when you uh, use the B. So this will be more powerful than B Hawking. Has 115% critical damage, slowish ammo regen, and consumes two ammo per shot. Comes with a nice snowy custom skin. Replaces the Commerce, which is farmed from Assassin Watt in Southpaw Steam and Power. Um, and also did Stuck Peak after the uh, Assassinate the Assassin's mission. 
Uh, he provides a perfect GIB code, which is in the fire element, but you can actually change that to whatever you like, um, depending on what you want. Um, but yeah, that is all the information you need to know right there. I think that's pretty damn good, really. Uh, I've actually enjoyed using this thing, and like I, uh, he said, it is very overpowered uh, with the B. I did try a quick test of it, but obviously I'm not going to show that on screen because I get told off for using the B too much. So uh, I'm just going to run around with the Flame of the Firehawk here. Uh, and uh, let that do quite a lot of the damage in as well obviously with this one being in the fire element uh, things like these ironclad lunatics that you're about to see coming up do cause quite a lot of trouble really uh, but yeah no need for slag really with uh, most of these enemies I do chuck a couple of magic missiles out here just to help things along uh, but obviously like I said the strong you know resistant to fire like ironclad lunatics do still go down even though it takes a while they still do go down with this you I had the help of the flame of the firehawk pulses going off and got through quite a lot of ammo to take ironclad lunatics down but they do go down eventually and uh, that's pretty good really it's nice to have a, a weapon that can hold its own against most other things in the map uh, final thing I will say like I said ammo is a big problem with this thing though it fires that fast two ammo per shot as well you're going to uh, rip through quite a lot of ammo using this but you can see it's got quite a large magazine size as well it's actually got 136 rounds in the chamber which is uh, pretty good for an SMG really you normally expect that with uh, real big heavy duty uh, LMGs assault rifles stuff like that not normally with SMGs but uh, yeah you can see the ammo bar going down pretty quickly I started with well over a thousand ammo and now I have about 200 so uh, make sure you keep stocking up or you just stand in a corner and let the uh, ammo region take flight but anyway guys let me know what you think of this weapon down in the comments below this was the hurricane pass made by Resand. thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one